After you've powered down the device and removed any dongles, you can begin the repair by removing the seven Phillips screws holding the bottom casing on. Two of them will be hidden underneath some vinyl caps, so you'll have to carefully remove those before you'll be able to remove those two screws. You can now begin to separate the bottom panel from the palm rest by carefully inserting an opening tool and prying the two apart. Once at least one of the plastic clips has been undone, a plastic tool can be substituted in order to prevent damage to the housing. You'll want to work your way around the sides and bottom of the laptop, just barely pulling the bottom panel away from the laptop while doing so. This will eventually result in the panel coming off completely. With the bottom casing now off, the first thing you'll want to do is disconnect the battery. This can be done by carefully pulling the ribbon attached to the top of the clip and providing a little leverage. The battery will be secured in place with three Phillips screws, which, after being removed, will free the battery from the laptop. The new battery can be laid in place and the screws we just removed can be put back. Once the screws are secure, the battery can be clipped back into the motherboard and the bottom casing can be placed on top and clipped back on on each side. To secure the casing on completely, the Phillips screws we initially removed can now be replaced. After the screws are in place, the vinyl caps can be placed back atop the two screws, finishing the repair. 